All right, so today's the day we're at uh, ECU in Joondalup, and yes, it's the day for the Collector Toy Fair. So come with me as we have a look to see uh, what they've got today. I'm hoping to pick up some vintage turtles and maybe some uh, vintage Toxic Crusaders, and uh, obviously some toys from the Kenner line, and hopefully some cheeky Doctor Who toys as well. But um, yeah, let's go on this journey together, and we'll have a look and see what's there. Um, yeah, see you soon. So I just wanted to do a quick sort of half time. Um, I have already spent all my money, but um, yeah, I uh, picked up some really cool Kenner uh, Waterworld toys within the first five minutes of going to the stall. I just saw um, that they were asking $200 for the lot. So I decided to go in and make a, an offer and they decided to uh, take the offer at 150. So very happy, um, pretty much got the entire this is the Trimaran uh, playset by uh, from Waterworld um, with Kevin Costner um, by Kenner, um, and uh, yeah, it's still still sealed in the sealed in the box. Um, so yeah, pretty pretty awesome. And also picked up um, pretty much all the figures in the uh, mint in the packet as well. So it's another Waterworld figure, which is the Power Bow Marina, um, and we've got all the figures on the back there. So I think. Um, I haven't sort of looked through everything yet, but I know that there's quite a lot of figures here. Um, the guy told me is a bit of a double up as well. Um, so yeah, um, pretty excited with that. Um, also managed to pick up a uh, bag of uh, Mighty Max uh, toys as well. So um, I just overheard the guy talking about it as I was going past the store. Um, and again, I sort of asked him how much did you want for him? And he sort of didn't know, so I said, well, would you take an offer of $50? And he was like, yeah, that's fine. So, um, yeah, very, very good haul so far. Um, I'm just going back in to pick up some Doctor Who books, which I found, and maybe find a couple other extra little stragglers or little bits and pieces. But, um, yeah, very, very good toy fair. Um, so, yeah, next one is in August, and I'll be doing a uh, toy stall there, so cannot wait. But uh, yeah, if you haven't already checked it out, uh, check out the Collector Zone in Joondalup. They run, um, they run the toy fairs every three months. But yeah, awesome, awesome find, and you can always find something good. <laughs>
so we're back in the collector room and uh, I just wanted to kind of uh, show you what I actually got uh, from the collector zone toy fair in Joondalup uh, from uh, Sunday. So firstly I wanted to go through the Waterworld toys by Kenner. Uh, they came around about 1994-95. Um, I've never seen these before so obviously when I um, saw the collection I just had to uh, uh, grab it. Uh, further ado, let's have a look and see what I got. So firstly, I wanted to show you the uh, Trimmerman uh, playset, which is this amazing um, boat, uh, which, which is from Waterworld. Um, I just really love the artwork that uh, Kenna uses. And um, this box is sealed, which is really cool. If we turn over the box here, we can see we've got the original artwork on the back here. And we've also got the toy as well. So we can actually see uh, what it does. Um, it's got uh, lots of really cool features like shooting missiles. Um, this middle part actually pivots. Uh, it goes up to about two meters, which is pretty cool. Uh, twists and turns. Uh, we have um, some sails that come down from here and some boom poles. Um, but yeah, it's just a really uh, nice piece. Um, again, by Kenner. And um, yeah, just really happy to be able to uh, add this as well. So. Um, yeah, really, really nice piece. That is the Truman uh, Waterworld playset. Really cool. Next up, we have the Hydro Stinger Marina, um, which is played by Kevin Costner in Waterworld. Um, and he obviously comes with lots of different accessories. It looks like it's got a water shooting uh, accessory. Um, it comes with kind of like a translucent octopus. Very kind of similar to the um, real Ghostbusters ghost style. Um, if we turn around the back here, um, we've got a bit of information that talks about how um, this figure works and um, you know how to sort of put in the water. And then we've obviously got lots of the other figures here. Now I was actually able to collect pretty much um, this entire collection, except for the Bowler Attack Marina. So. Uh, Sorry, Matt, if you're watching, uh, I didn't get that one, but I did get um, everything else. So that's the Hydro Stinger Marina. And I'll see you gotta have a couple of bad guys in there. So I've got uh, Deacon, um, so he's looking pretty, pretty crazy. He's got his cool sort of military outfit on um, with what looks like kind of a rocket launcher. Um, he's got like this crazy kind of techno gear with these kind of spinning discs and uh, what looks like a kind of a green translucent sort of mini shark kind of fish um, yeah so again instructions on the back here uh, so that kind of hooks onto his shoulders and then you kind of put those discs in and um, because he shoots out from there so that's Deacon with disc firing helmet <laughs> um, and we've got all the other characters there as well Next up we've got Atoll Enforcer um, and he comes with like a green translucent octopus character and um, this kind of looks like a backpack with like a uh, launching capture web, uh, very similar to Jurassic Park. Um, and if we turn the back here we can see how that's kind of set up and uh, basically you press the firing button to launch that capture web to capture the, um, the fish or the octopus that he has. So again that's... Uh, the Atoll Enforcer figure by Kenner. Next up we have another Power Bow Marina. Um, so this is another Mariner um, with a Power Bow feature. So it looks like he's got some crossbows, some missiles and a translucent orange fish. Um, so that's pretty cool. On the back here got some information on how um, you can actually make that work. So that's pretty cool. And I also got a double, so uh, another Power Bow Marina, so that was pretty cool to get a double in the set as well. Uh, we also have another villain, uh, which is Nord, um, with the firing bazooka bomber. <laughs> Looks like it's got a red translucent crab, um, and I'll see some yellow crossbows here. Some information on the back here on how to set that up, and obviously fire the uh, missile. So that's pretty cool. That's Nord from Waterworld. Now next up we have the Smoker Thunder Ski, which is kind of a two-in-one figure set. So we actually get a vehicle with this, and also the figure, uh, which is a Berserker Rider. So uh, another baddie. But um, yeah, this thing looks really cool. Um, it's kind of like a purpley 
sort of color with a bit of bronze uh, on the top here and on the back here. Um, there is a little bit of damage uh, to the packet, um, but it's still in really good condition. Um, and then on the back here, um, we've got some information on how the, uh, the vehicle works. Um, it's kind of like a water ski. Um, and then you press the buttons to kind of uh, set up the uh, missiles and the projectiles as well. So that is the Smoker Thunder Ski with Berserker Rider. Really, really cool piece. And lucky last, we have the Wave Ripper, um, which is includes the Warrior Marina. Um, and this is obviously Kevin Costner's um, jet ski, which is really cool. Um, again, it's kind of like a sort of a mud brown, sort of metallic color um, with the missiles. And uh, if we look at the back here, this kind of just shows how this works. Um, it looks like you press the handle and the button and it kind of props up into a, a sort of uh, motion. Um, now this is actually in pretty good condition, a little bit of yellowing to the, to the packet, um, but still really beautiful color. A um, little bit of tearing there, but, and, uh, but still in really good condition. Um, so if you're after any of these figures or sets, uh, please let me know in the comments down below and um, I can obviously help you out um, with those as uh, we'll be having these on my store and are currently selling them uh, on eBay. All right. After I found the Waterworld bulk set, I was able to find a bulk lot of Mighty Max play sets. Now, some of these were um, not complete. Just couldn't go by not getting them. So um, we've got this dude here, which is pretty cool. Um, I can't remember the specific name, um, but it does look like he opens up and uh, got some really cool features there. Um, so that's a pretty amazing play set. Um, we have this guy, which is not complete, um, but again, it was sort of in a, in a bulk lot. So I thought I could grab that one. A um, couple of other characters here, um, which are pretty cool. I think this one opens up. And uh, sure but uh, if you do have this one please leave comments down below on how that one works but yeah pretty pretty cool sort of uh, set there had another character which kind of looks like a sort of a lava themed uh, monster as well uh, so that's pretty cool uh, we have a complete shark, which is pretty cool. Um, I already have one of these, but it's not complete. So this one has all the fins on it and um, open it up. And obviously you get um, a cool sort of submarine inside. We open that up and we obviously get the squid monsters, which uh, make the fins. And we've got the bad guy in here with the little rocket launcher. I think you just take this uh, fin out and if we open it up, yeah, it turns into like a little um, manta ray, which is pretty cool. It's got all the electronics underneath. And then you just fold that manta ray back up to create that fin. And that fin just goes in the back there. And then you just uh, close it like so. There you go, so that's the shark. Um, we also had a couple of other characters. So a bit of sort of a smaller play sets. Um, so this is like a radioactive sort of one. Um, and this is kind of like a, a monster kind of one as well. Um, so pretty happy with that uh, bulk lot. Um, I still got that for about $50. There are some other bits and pieces which came with it. So it looks like we've got a launching uh, missile, which I think goes with that lava guy. Um, and we also have some other parts, which I think go with that lava guy. Um, we have another sort of bad guy. Um, this looks like another sort of hero character. And then we have two little Mighty Max uh, figures as well. So if you know which um, accessories go with which or sort of how they work, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. I will be doing some research on these and uh, probably do another video just on Mighty Max um, later on. So obviously after uh, my first and second visit, um, I sort of hadn't found anything else and I was catching up with some friends that I knew 
at the Collector's Own Toy Fair who had some stalls there. So it was really awesome to uh, kind of hang out with them and see how their stalls were going. Um, and then uh, I just thought I'll, I'll do one more round this third time. And um, I found a, an original Doctor Who classic remote control Dalek. Here we go. So this one is massive. Um, actually used to have this about 15 years ago, um, but sold it. Now the plastic is a little bit uh, worse for wear, but I was talking to one of the store owners who has a really awesome uh, Doctor Who store um, with lots of other um, pop culture stuff from England. Um, and he said that the uh, plastic here was pretty notorious. It kind of did that anyway. Um, but uh, I wasn't too fast at $80 for this amazing um, Dalek uh, in the box and the artwork is just truly amazing uh, still really good Nick on the side here um, And then also on the back here. We've got beautiful artwork as well and It continues from there Now I haven't set this up yet. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll probably do a another feature on that and um, Get it up and running one time, but I really just wanted to kind of um Give you a bit of an overview and sort of share what I got from the Collector's Own Toy Fair. Uh, so, uh, just to let you know, I have also secured myself a stall for the next Collector's Own Toy Fair, um, which will be in August. I'll leave a link in the description of this video where you can find out more about the Collector's Own Toy Fair in August and uh, how you can get there. Um, but yeah, you never know, I might see you there. Um, if I do, come and uh, say hello. It'd be awesome to get to meet you. Show some awesome toys there as well. Um, but yeah, um, that is pretty much uh, everything that I got from the toy fair. Um, managed to catch up with Chris, the owner, and um, had really good conversation. Um, early bird tickets are $10 um, if you want to get in like 15 minutes early, which really did help me in getting the Waterworld toys. Um, or if you're happy just to wait, $5 at 9.30. And it runs to around 1 p.m. I also forgot um, I bumped into my friend Gibbo who I'm good mates with. Um, he is a pinball doctor so he repairs uh, customers pinball machines and we play at least once a month uh, in a regular pinball tournament uh, which is held at zero latency in Northbridge Perth. Um, but yeah he um, bumped into me and he said oh Ryan I've got something for you. So he gave me um, a promotional Thunderbirds uh, pinball uh, poster, uh, which is by Home Pin. And uh, this was kind of to give a representation of what the pinball machine was going to look like, um, including the artwork um, and the titles and things like that. And this was actually made by a Aussie guy who uh, created this. Um, and then if we turn it, it gives you a bit more information about the uh, pinball machine and all the characters and colors here as well. So thank you again, Gibbo, for that. I definitely will be framing at the front and the back and also got a couple of extra ones to give to some of my friends as well. So again, Gibbo, thank you so much for that. All right, so that concludes tonight's episode. Uh, if you've liked what you've seen, uh, please like and subscribe. It will help me with creating more content. And as you can see in the background, um, I do actually have a backlog of packages to go through. You can click that bell for the notification to get the latest episodes. Um, the next couple of months is going to be pretty crazy. Um, we've also got uh, the Nexus Toy Fair coming up on July 16th. Um, we've got Matt and Andrew from Keep On Collecting be coming over. Um, so I'll be showing them around and we'll be doing some toy hunting. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then the end of July, I'll be going over to Sydney for CollectorCon in Penrith. Um, but uh, yeah, stay safe, stay healthy, have a good weekend, and we'll see you next time. Bye.